Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remakes. So last time we had left off, we had successfully escaped from the Shinra soldiers. We uh, finally met Aerith. And she gave us a flower that Cloud pretended to hate. And now we're going to uh, meet up with Tifa over in her, in her bar. So, uh... Yeah, let's go and meet up with Tifa. Gotta go see my girl. See how they, uh... How she's portrayed in this version. Oh, no words can describe what kind of person thinks it's good for cavalry. They had it so good because of the reactors. Uh, yeah, well, Actually, Aerith is my girl as far as the one I always preferred for Cloud. But uh, Tifa's okay. Uh, we gotta watch this again. This lunatic right here. Yeah, skip that. We already saw his bullshit. We have no need to see it again. Screw that guy. Guy's gonna die when Sephiroth launches his at his attack on the city. You there, you're dead. You just don't know it yet. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Well, yeah, well, it's gonna become your problem in a little while, Cloud. I'm also getting ready to play The Last of Us 2. It's funny how they don't recognize him. You'd think with that sword and that hairstyle, he would be instantly infamous throughout the city but, but I guess not anyway uh, yeah I'm getting ready to play The Last of Us 2 I figure uh, with everything that's going on in the world I might as well get, to get, get all this stuff done because you never know how much time you have left with the way things going, we'll probably we'll probably be all dead by the by September. I'm not joking. Things are getting really bad here in Pennsylvania, so that's not a joke. People are like, if you uh, so if you see this after uh. By the time you'll see this, we'll know one way or another whether the situation's gonna improve or not. But if you see it before, uh, before things get uh, too brutal, I hope it's not too morbid. Mayor Domino, what the hell? Look at the nice Shinra brand TV. Is that Domino from, from the X-Men? From X-Factor? I mean X-Force? That Domino? Oh, there's 7th Heaven. There's our destination. So we can only record um for like 56 minutes each at a time. So I gotta, gotta keep track of time here. Yeah, I bet you do. Bunch of drunks. Man, we got guys like that over here. They they congregate around seven you no not seven eleven around Dunkin' Donuts, they just cause a mess. Man, I wanna go the other way, I wanna explore. I guess we have to. Oh well, we'll explore later. Alright, here we go. Tifa's first meeting with Cloud in this new game. Oh, this is Marlene.
check the settings a bit before we go over to talk to Barrett because um, I don't know if you noticed but um, oh damn we can't uh, I want to check the dialogue volume because it seems a little low like I could barely hear what she was saying right there I don't know if it's the music or if it's a glitch in the game I wonder if we can save right here and uh, just reload and come back. Cause I gotta check that out. I don't want to. I don't want to miss the dialogue with her. So I'll be right back. First, let's, let's actually save it just in case. See you in a bit. We're back. It was the volume on the TV, so I had to go back and fix that. The volume for the dialogue was actually set at the correct setting. It was just the TV. This TV sucks. It like it like randomly changes volumes on you and has all sorts of problems like. Don't ever buy TCL. It may seem like you're getting a value, but you're really not. I mean, I bought it because uh, I didn't have the money for anything else, but uh, if you have more money, I suggest you spring for like a Sony or something like that because TCL sucks. I've had various issues with this since I uh, got it. Hey, look at that. They serve pizza here. I wonder what it looks like. I was going to say it's odd seeing Marlene here because I. Uh, the last Marlene I saw was uh, the woman in The Last of Us, and we all know what a bitch that woman is. God damn. Oh, I also, f also forgot to mention. I um, also forgot to mention. Uh, I didn't have time ch to check the last videos I did, so the volume was still set at 70% for the micro for the microphone. So uh, let's see how that works out. Okay, let's give this a second shot. See if we don't have to make more adjustments. Oh, should we go to Barrett? Let's do Marlene first, just because. second dialogue something's wrong with the dialogue I wonder if it's uh if it has to be updated maybe seems like a glitch Yeah, we're gonna try this a third time. Let's see uh, what happens here. This is gonna be a stitched video because uh, we're gonna have three separate feeds. You have to start right from the very beginning until you get the dialogue right. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop. So alright, let's you give know? this a third try. <laughs> it should be alright now. Well, a man can always so I guess you're getting a slightly longer video because uh, the first 15 minutes of this is bullshit. Like, it's goddamn bullshit with the sound, but uh, it should be fixed now. Hopefully. I also didn't notice how beautiful the city looks like that against the backdrop of the plate there. That's holding up, I guess, all the macro reactors. That looks pretty nice. All right, let's test this again and see if it actually works. Cross your fingers. <gasps> mm, <Arlene>. Yes, finally. <laughs> Thank Jesus. Thank the Lord. Hey, you're home. That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? 
Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, oh, we lost the, the flower. Miyako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Who should we talk to first? Should we talk to her or... Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh, I don't think Barrett's gonna like that option. Yes, it's no harm in asking, right? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Oh, I guess we have to frighten her. Just so we could get yelled at by Barrett. Why doesn't he just tell her he's a co-worker? Like, that's all she needs to know. He's working with her dad for the moment. She, he just, she doesn't need a full-blown explanation. Just tell her he's a co-worker. Jeez. Yeah, I remember this from the uh. original game. He scares the hell out of her. think you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers <laughs> that's right honey i do say that what a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons <laughs> you know what else good girls do they go to bed on time come on but i'm not tired i want to talk some more daddy mm, all right but just this once <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> oh, she's so sweet, Marlene. Um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. So here's a question for you. You think when she's grown, when she's all grown up, Marlene's gonna be all thick like her dad? Like she's gonna be all muscular and stuff? A fighter just like him? Or you think she'll send on a different route? I never watched Advent Children, so I don't know what happens with her or anyone else after this, uh, after this story. I'm just wondering, cause Barrett is huge, so like, you think she'll grow up to be all huge and muscular like uh, the boss from Metal Gear Solid 3? Or she could she could carry like uh, like 450 pounds in each arm? You know, carry a goddamn nuclear warhead with one arm? Think she'll be all muscular like that? Let that be a lesson to you. I wish we could smack him. Just because. Well, let's play the jukebox. Let's see what this does. Use the jukebox to play your favorite tunes. You can add more songs to the jukebox by collecting music discs, which can be found in the field where their presence is marked with a music icon. Got it. Okay, so I, I remember I saw a trophy for that. We got Tifa's team. Well, I guess it doesn't play right now. Makes sense. Just it makes sense since she's uh, waiting to talk to us. Yeah, my throat is a little sore, so I'm uh, having a little trouble focusing. Tifa looks nice in that skirt. It's a bit different from her old look, but it's still close enough that it makes sense. She's got red eyes too. Reminds me of uh, Minako or Hamuko from Persona 3 Portable. 
She's always been she's always been one of my favorite characters from that series. But yeah, Tifa really looks like her in this, with those red eyes and the black hair. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. Tifa sounds way so, more mature. you make nice with everyone? Not as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Yeah, understatement of the year. Or the millennium. Yeah, she sounds... I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. Hold on a minute, Tifa. We gotta check this out. But yeah, she sounds way more mature than I expected her to. Like, it's kind of odd. I thought she'd sound more like a uh, Aerith. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, here's a doggo. Can we pet him? Let's take a picture with him, just because. Damn! Look at that! Look at a nice dog. I wish we could pet him. Like, come on. So you're telling me, Joel? can pet the giraffes and the last was but we can't pet a dog here come on that's a rip off bye doggo and here we are good old stargazer heights you're on the second floor tifa's, tifa's probably wondering why is he staring so much at that dog <laughs> room 201 here is where i sleep don't have time for much else what with seventh heaven and all <laughs> not even time to decorate which means it's probably going to be a mess, and all dirty and messed up. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I completely forgot. Is this new or is it part of the old game? I don't remember. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There's one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, at least fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. That's a nice bit of manipulation there, like she totally played him. She guilted him into helping out. Damn, look at that flip. That's impressive. Guess it's time for introductions. The 
this ain't normal cloud this is um something in your head or something hallucination or something like i don't think you're awake right now oh it is the actual uh, it is the actual place i thought maybe he was having another trip where Sephiroth, Sephiroth is gonna show up. Looks like we can go up too. So they're either fighting or you know what. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. remember this I remember the rope monks from the fir from the first game the original version they were all the test subjects for uh well you'll see later on but yeah I definitely remember them like he looks a lot more clear now obviously kind of looks like Mobius crossed with uh Sattler from Resident Evil 4 but uh I definitely remember the test subjects so question, before we go out there, if there's no Italy here, how did they ever invent pizza? I'll let you think on that for a while. How can there be pizza with no Italy? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's like in Star Wars, how can, how can there be hot chocolate without Earth? Like, did Lando go to Earth secretly, or did they just steal it from Earth several centuries ago and then lied and pretend it was from Corellia or Naboo or some other planet there, lying their asses off about where they really got hot chocolate from? And you know, I assume Lando got it from the unknown regions where Thrawn is, Admiral Thrawn, because that's the only place really that he could have gotten it. Let's, all right, let's check on the monk again. Nope, we can't do it. So what do we have? Uh, now that's a that's a section of the slums. I want to see the inventory. See what we have. Yeah, we got a lot of potions. Oh, I forgot to check out the. Cactuar materia. I gotta I gotta put that in next time because this is gonna come in handy for sure. We got eight grenades. Which means you can blow eight motherfuckers up easily. Oh enemy intel. 
Oh, look at that. This actually keeps a record of all the enemies we fight. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the elite Shinra trooper. Basically the heavy of the unit. Sweeper. Sentry ray. Also, oh, these guys are the ninjas. These are the shock troopers. Also, oh, they use pharmacological agents and reinforced suits. So they're they're basically on drugs. Is what they are. Seriously, it's like what Germany and the Nazis used to do during World War II, where they would just dope all their soldiers up on drugs and make them invincible. So they would just keep fighting no matter how they got injured until they got put down. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. I don't like her hair. It looks like a broom or a feather duster. Ma'am, is this your dog? Because he's looking kind of cool. And he's looking kind of hungry. I think you better go feed him first. Oh no, we can ask her. Let's see. Is your face always that pale? You're not getting enough sleep. Okay, scratch that. That was a bad idea. So they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet? More like they want us to give up our way of life. There will be no way of life kill the planet so the environmentalists say but I say people and their jobs and their families have to come first otherwise what's the point that's stupid right there you really want to live in some toxic waste dump that's been drained dry of all its juices come on lady you can't exactly have a family if there's no planet to live on fool It's like The Last of Us. What the hell are you, are you gonna do without electricity and necessities? Like, there's no point in living at that time. Hey, look at that fiend slain this month. Zero. We're gonna change that soon. We're gonna kill some fiends for sure. Searching for candidates. Hey, what's this guy? Oh, I thought he had a mission for me. Guy's got an assault rifle. That who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? Huh? <laughs> Searching for candidates. Yeah, but for what? I guess we can't talk to him until later. Weapons, can we buy anything? She looks nice. I'm guessing that's a theme show from a TV show they show in Midgar. Oh, there's the avalanche posters. The bombing will likely impact us here more than people think. I don't get why they can't just make electricity the normal way. Who live here have the potential to become big, big stars. One day I'll turn on the TV and see Jesse and all the others. It's gonna be great. Liar. Don't lie to her like that. Hmm. 
Oh, that one's kind of depressing. They want to buy a house on the on the up the upstairs level so they can get out of here. Think we could get some money if we strip this thing for parts? Looks damn near rusted through to me. I'm game as long as it buys us a no space, man. Yeah, you shut up. I might join in one of those Is there anything to collect? That's what I'm looking for. Hey, look, more chocobo posters. Nice. It's just me, or there more strays around here these days. Hey, a cat. Oh yeah, we found our first cat. Let's take a picture with the kitty. Damn, that's a lot of cats. Oh my god, look at that. Thinking what Mars must have reacted when she saw this. Yeah, let's take a picture with all of them. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, got 18 damn cats, look at that, where all these cats come from? It'll be nice if you could train them as your own personal attack cats, like ninja cats. Their cuteness moves me to tears, but their fur makes my nose run. But it's a small price to pay. Cat allergy, huh? Probably keep your distance. Yeah, I know what that's like. There's this one dude in the watch who's like a genius cat whisperer, I hear. Wish I could conversate with the little guys. Okay, so we gotta find that guy, I'm I guessing. Still can't believe that nice young girl who lived next door ran off in the night. Probably with that punk boyfriend of hers. She even stuck a note on the door saying, Don't come looking for me. I can't get over how the non playable characters have a slightly different look to them than the main characters. I, it's kind of distracting, I have to admit it. Like, I know most games do that, but uh, I usually don't notice it because I like. Like in Persona 4 and 5 and 3, everybody looks the same. Have you you know, in terms of the graphic Steven detail, Munch? but here, yeah. they look slightly different. Hand the mouth? Oh, he's too. another cat. I'd hate to have my paid doc for that. That's the worst. My wife's worried that if this goes on much longer, we're gonna have some tough decisions. You to never make. know. The Sector 8 ladies might have to take refuge here. <laughs> If that happens, I'm not sure we'd all be able to get along. Yeah, so I'm it's guessing we're gonna have to find eventually the guy who can talk it. to the cats. Are you serious? What? You think it's all a hoax or something? Maybe he has some type of side quest or mission for us. I assume we come back here again. I don't remember the original game that that well, but I assume we come back again. Life ain't fair, girl. I've heard of them. They hate everything Shinra stands for, or whatever, right? Yeah, you know that bombing through me over something fierce. Where are we going? I completely forgot. I know we're going back to Seventh Heaven. But where is it? If the planet's a little oh, there it is. We should be learning more. I think we all Yeah, I wonder where that I wonder where that cat whisper is. Something hard, but Which is better? Reminds me of uh, Suji or Yu Narukami, whatever you want whatever you want his name to be in Persona 4. He got all those cats following after him. Took care of all the strays in the town. 
thinking I might have dinner at Seventh Heaven tonight. All right, here we go. Let's go back to work. Hey, they got eggs and chips too. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Oh, she's putting us to work. I thought we better actually go and fight. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Why the hurry? It's not like he's got any other place to go. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Let's see, what are you up to, to sell? Got items, let's... Prelude, what the hell is that? A disc containing a dance song. Phoenix down. Cures poison. Yeah, let's buy one simply because um, you never know when you might need it. I don't think we'll need this for a while or this. Let's buy the prelude just so we can have it on us. All right, that's sold out. What about material? Let's see what he has on him. Healing, fire. Got ice, got lightning, and we got dodge. We're gonna buy ice because Barrett already has lightning, so we don't really need to have cloud with it right now. We can just switch to uh, ice. Oh, wait a second, what else does he have? Okay, he doesn't have accessories at that. I thought he might have had something else there. Yeah, let's buy ice. Because I don't know when uh, anyone else is going to join the party, so we might actually need this. There we go. That guy's a scumbag. You can tell just by his hair. And his cocky way that he talks to Tifa. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Yeah, listen to the scumbag. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget, our wide selection of items is guaranteed to satisfy. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well... You could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. 
Damn, Tifa stacked. I don't know what the hell people are complaining about. My husband decided to go to the station and see if they They said they toned her down? Are you fucking kidding me? She looks bigger than Lara Croft. Come on, man. Like, she is freaking stacked. I don't get what the hell people are upset about. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Klaus helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh god, how many old people are like that in real life? They just hassle you over and over. Also, uh, Tifa, she sounds like Ellie a bit, hustling people. Okay, so we can take rest spots at beds where we can recover HP and MP. Rest spots include your own bed, blue benches next to vending machines and other locations. Alright. Yeah, we're not gonna question her old ass again. She's she's probably gonna insult us again. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Wow. Ain't they uh, but Absolutely. never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. Oh, here we go. The weapon store. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? <sighs> I thought I heard a little remix of the old Midgar theme. last filter didn't do shit we're so sorry about that hopefully this one will work better save your excuses and get out all right if you could just settle your bill we'll be on our way the hell you charging me for your busted ass goods my associate handles payment disputes think you can mosey up in here and have it your way pretty please <laughs> thank you very much Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our I wonder, you think there's any way they can make our guns a little bit lighter? So I have to correct something. I said earlier she looked like uh, Minako with her red eyes, but Minako had on red hair, so... But you could change the outfits, remember? You could change it for all sorts of stuff, so... No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Okay, here we go. This guy's a jackass, but uh, reminds me of a guy from Grand Theft Auto. But let's see what he has to huh? sell. I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Can we kill him? No, I guess we can't. I wonder. 
think there's any way they can make our guns a little bit lighter? <laughs> Joe would have killed him for that. Way to keep you and your family safe? Papa you Joe would have taken own. his head and smashed it right, against, right across that damn uh, counter. If he spoke to him like that. Like, Cloud, why are you letting people disrespect you? Like, like I said, Papa Joe, nobody disrespects him. He's, he'll smash your head in if you do that. It's down here. Do something about the monsters on scrap no, we don't. Even our facilities are starting to look. We don't want to go down yet. I just want to spy on them. Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. Oh. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing. I do tomorrow. find it funny how Not quickly alone, he caved. You, you know, it's easy to, it's easy to cave when you got a guy with a giant sword standing in there. Oh, this looks dangerous. Look at that. Hold on. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool. Are you? Hey, look at this guy. You can do doing, it. Uh, Push it to the limit. Pull ups on the stairs. Hey, what's this? Oh, we got some ether. Nice. Hold on. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool. Well, I'm guessing we have to go in. Huh? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Um, Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha, what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What, you some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on, at least let me show you how it's done. Come on, Cloud, you don't pass up free upgrades. Everybody knows that. If you can upgrade your computer for free, it's free. You can now enhance your weapons. Spend SP skill points to unlock special skills infused in weapons. Yeah, we gotta do a tutorial because I have no idea how to do this. Okay, so we go to upgrade weapons. Select the character and the weapon. Press X to select cloud. We only have one sword, so that's the only thing we can select right now. Oh, there we go. Oh damn, it's like the it's like the sphere uh, grid from Final Fantasy X. That's pretty interesting. That's a nice touch there. Look at that, it's like the universe. Okay, so right now we have 10 SP. Let's see what we can upgrade it. Okay, magic attack. Max XP. Attack power. Punisher mode. You know what? It's cliche, but I got, we gotta do the HP because I remember that being a huge issue in the original game. I could never have enough HP with all the stuff I lost to spells. And here, um, here you're fighting in real time, so that you can you can get damaged even quicker. So yeah, we we gotta do it HP mandatory. There we go. We got some life to us now. And we're gonna hold off on any more. Because we're only gonna be fighting basic monsters right now. What they call the beasts. So we don't really need any huge attack power right now. There we go. You can automate SP allocation by selecting a weapon and pressing triangle. No. 
We're not doing that. We're not doing automatic stuff. No way. No how. When a character levels up and the max SP of their equipped weapon increases, that weapon also levels up. Okay, so the higher the weapon level, the more skills you get. Got it. We'll have to mess around with the material some other time. There we go. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Mercantown. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. Oh, Tifa's gonna fight. <laughs> sure thing. Awesome. I know these streets better than anyone. Join the party, Tifa Lockhart. Nice. But uh, we're gonna save. We're gonna stop here because I hear people waking up, but it's gonna get noisy soon. Plus, I'm already at over my 56 minute limit. 56 minute limit anyway. Because I wasted the first 15 minutes trying to get the dialogue. Uh, nice and um, nice and audible so you could actually hear what the hell they were saying so uh, I'm gonna save again I know it just saved right now but we're gonna save again and we're gonna pick this up next time where we're gonna go monster hunting nice speaking of which monster hunter is on sale I don't know whether I should get it or not it's one of those games where I, I always try to get it and I never end up purchasing it for whatever reason it's too high or I don't have the time to play it or who knows what but I never get it and I, I'm gonna have to play it one day but um, I heard it's a pretty good game I heard it's pretty difficult though Monster Hunter from Capcom so one of these days I'll sit down and play it so next time when we, when we pick this up we're gonna continue hunting these monsters and see what they're like in the new version along with Tifa which means we get some fist and kicking action Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time on Final Fantasy VII Remake. See you later.